So the, the boys are on the football field uh, taking part in spring practice. Uh, do, do you have a report for us? Well, I was lucky enough to go there and actually talk to uh, some players and the coach. And coach wasn't satisfied, uh, but it was only the seventh practice. Um, but, you know, he sees uh, that he – I think he wants to use his tight ends a little more. And that's been a big thing of mine for the last two years. So I'm really happy he's listened to me. <laughs> He's got an incoming uh, tight. Uh, he redshirted last year. Uh, Jamie Nunley, really tall. I think these guys are like six five, six six. And then he's got uh, Trevor Wood. So he's got t- two solid tight ends, and I think they're they're extremely athletic, and they're going to give us some variety in the in the uh, field, so that you know it's not just a wide receiver or running back. You also have a mid range uh, option. So um, u- utilizing the tight ends more, um, very excited about that. Also, we have a USC transfer and Noah Jefferson. Um, there were some graze issues, I guess, and some injury. But anyway, he's decided he's coming to Arizona. So we're going to see if uh, he can play next season. If not, he has to wait a year. Um, and then um, J.J. Taylor's back, as I was saying earlier, and he hasn't lost a beat. So, you know, I think on our playlist on the Pac-12 channel, I added videos of of J.J. Taylor's interview. And also I wanted to say a shout out to uh, Jacob Alcidek, who's our O-line leader for next year. And this guy, you couldn't find a nicer guy to protect your quarterback. (laughs) So um, he just, he's like, he's not going to take any crap this year. He is holding people accountable. He doesn't want to lose. Last year sucked for him. He lost one of his best friends and Zach Hemela, the, the, the center. That, so this year didn't start out right. And then, um, But the ASU win, beating the crap out of ASU, I think um, is propelled him to, to this year to really want to do a really good job in leading the team. So the other thing I wanted to mention was the quarterbacks. So we have two quarterbacks um, that are competing. We just um, – Got a brand new commit in, in, I forgot his name, I'm sorry, from Georgia. Um, uh, Rich Rodriguez feels, he, I think it's Connie. Connie? Anyway, he's from deep in the heart of Georgia, and he was overlooked by a lot of schools. So we're really excited about him coming. He won't be playing next year, though, I don't think. Well, maybe. They're competing between uh, Khalil Tate and Brandon Dawkins, who both have complete potential upside if they can get a really good uh, O-line. So they're competing. There's uh, Rich Rod hasn't said he has a favorite, and he likes a lot of competition. So I think everybody's competing for their spot this year. Shereen, for football season being so far off and it just being spring, I, I, I hear a lot of aggression in your voice. You, you kick the crap out of them and kick the crap out of him, and, <laughs> and uh, you, you're ready to go. I think that I think they're just sick. Of, they were sick of – it's just not um, – they're not used to losing. These these kids, they come in as winners. They're used to winning, and this losing stuff, is, and the fans, you know, I think everybody's talking about this is Rich Rod's year. If he doesn't do something now, we have a new AD and Dave Henke, and now we have a new president of the school who's into athletics. So pressure this year on the team, and uh, and I, I see potential because there's a lot of redshirt freshmen who haven't even got a chance to play yet see you know four or five star out of hawaii um with red shirt last year and uh, this year he gets to play so um, he can't wait to play so i just think we have a lot of potential and i hope fans don't count the team out because they're really kicking each other's tushes out there well fortunately you've got a coach who has a proven track record at west virginia and to a lesser extent with you but he's won there and and he's been a winner uh, in, in the past, and, and I think he's got a pretty good handle on things. And 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 I hate to say this with you, Shireen, on the line, but it's just a situation where you're not going to win every year at Arizona. You're most likely not going to be one of the top 25 teams in the nation every, 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 every year. You can do it most of the time, uh, but you play in a tough division. There are no great teams in the division maybe usc will emerge as that team because they certainly showed it the last half of last year but a lot of good teams in that division no bad teams and that's what's difficult because if you go to most divisions around college football there's there's a team or two to beat up on and you don't have that in that division everybody's good yeah we beat up on each other and that's not good for the pac-12 because 
uh, you will, will like one team will be doing really well, like Washington, and then a t- another team will come in and just beat the pants off of them. And then it's like, wait, wait, what? That was our team. That was our team. <laughs> so, but this year it was good. We had a, a Washington in the Final Four, and USC uh, won the Rose Bowl. And I agree with you. I think uh, fans in Tucson need to be realistic. I mean. We're, we're going to work on the indoor facility for practice, and I, I, I hear the, the AD talking about that and Rich Rod, and I think that will help a lot in recruiting. It helped up in Washington State. You know, the coach up there, that's all he talks about is his facilities. So I think um, getting better facilities, uh, not having to play in the heat, I think is going to attract more people. But I agree with you. It's it's not USC. It's not UCLA. You know, it's so – you know, we should just be happy that our, our team wants to play and support them no matter what. That's what fans do. That's right. And you are one of those for sure. There would be no doubt in questioning that. Uh, Shireen, thanks for answering the call and always being here for me. Uh, I always appreciate it. And it's always a fun discussion. Yeah, no problem. And bear down. Go Cats in the Pac-12 tournament. <laughs>